Well, uh, there is always power in in making declarations and coming into dark places and 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 you know basically declaring light. You know, there's always something remarkably powerful about that. I think for me, I live for those moments in worship um, where I may start. You know, sometimes I start in in this zone, and sometimes it takes a while to get there, but. I, I know, I've experienced those moments where, where I know something else has come over me. Like I, I know that I am operating, I, I know where my gift, gifting sits, I know what my voice can do, I, I, I know um, what I'm normally able to produce just out of my own natural gifting. And, I'm, and then I'm also fully aware of what it's like when that other thing, and that other thing is obvious that we're talking about the Holy Spirit, when, when He comes on me on, in, a, in a whole other way, and then something else begins to come out of me. And words that I, that I'm, I'm, I'm singing things that I'm not, I'm not even, I, they weren't even in my head, they're, 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 they're coming out. And there is a power, I feel like my voice all of a sudden just got ten times louder in its impact. You know, I can see it visibly happen in, in, in the room. I live those moments, you know. I don't, you can't actually manufacture those moments. Like, yeah, I mean, if, if we could, wow, we just live there all the time, you know. But it is somewhere in this journey of just going after the Lord. And it can happen in the strangest places. I remember this moment. I was leading a worship set. And... Um, uh, it was a bad worship set. Like, it was not a good worship set. I was feeling super defeated. The, the kind where you're just longing for someone to come up and close the service down so you can go home and lick your wounds, you know, kind of kind of an experience. And, and I'm just like, and I remember somewhere, somewhere in, in, in the middle of that set, I, I threw up this feeble cry. It wasn't this faith-filled declaration. It was just like, God, we wait for you to come show your glory here today and bow my head in shame, you know, because this is not going well, you know? And, um, and literally right after that, we've had this manifestation that's at Bethel where it's just, it's, it's wonderful, beautiful, and interesting, and weird, and all, all of that, but this glory cloud or cloud of gold dust or whatever you want to call it, you know, occasionally manifests and just begins to swirl in different parts of the, the building, but all of a sudden, right after that, like probably 30 seconds later, the, the, the cloud began to manifest and, and, and swirl. 